Ohio State, Kent State here on this mat. Cleveland State, Kent State wrestling a match over there at 125. This is 133 pounds. We're looking at Anthony Tudelo down from 141 last year. He's taking on Ohio State's Brendan Fitzgerald. This is the first match of the dual meet. So they're running the dual meet side by side with Ohio State, Cleveland State, and Kent State. So Tudelo not getting the matchup from his rematch of the state tournament. Tudelo in a shot. Tudelo up 2-0 right now on Fitzgerald. They're in a hip-to-hip -hip situation. Seatbelt. And Tudelo gotta watch the shoulder race trying to take the foot out of Fitzgerald. Brendan Fitzgerald, a freshman, a local kid from Grandview Heights, Columbus, which abuts up to Ohio State's campus, actually. So 2-0 lead Tudelo here in the first period. Great crowd here tonight at the Thanksgiving throwdown. And the Buckeyes sitting some starters. Tudelo looking for some near falls here. He gets one swipe. And that's all he'll get out of it. He's working on top right now against the freshman for Ohio State at 133 pounds. Brandon Fitzgerald Fitzgerald 4-1 on the season. And he is scrappy. Tudelo having a great year to start. Knocking off top 20 opponent, opponent Cam Kelly in the finals of the Navy Classic. He is currently 8-0 on the year. He lost in the state finals as a sophomore to Nathan Tomasello, their familiar foes. Now he's out to the side with an arm bar looking to come across, collect the wrist. Fitzgerald doing a nice job. Battling there on the bottom. Brendan Fitzgerald in place of Nathan Tomasello currently. We've got a great crowd. We're looking to drive out 4,000 people here at the Kent State Max Center. Um, great draw tonight, bringing Ohio State into town. And Kent is up at 125 and 133 right now with two wrestlers on the mat. Both of them are winning right now, so that's a good sign for them. Um, as I said, Ohio State sitting some key starters. Obviously, no Bo Jordan, no Thomas Sala. Snyder apparently is going to be used sparingly. There's the stall running on Fitzgerald underneath. And that will be the first. We're looking at 25 seconds left in the first period. And there he scrambles out of it. And it's going to be 2-1 just like that. But Tudelo with a buck 50 net right there. Fitzgerald steps in with a right-handed underhook. Digs it. 12 seconds remains in the first. So you're getting a look at Anthony Tudelo here for the first time season and he looks in control right now but no Tomasella who he lost in the state finals by a 6-3 score and, uh, that was one I wanted to say I know Anthony Tudelo wanted that match and obviously for Nathan Tomasella you're a competitor you want that match so Fitzgerald comes out front he's looking looks gator roll here He's got something on it, he's going for it. Oh man, he's got big moves. Tudelo's gonna catch his leg. Looking for near falls is Tudelo. Catches that down leg perk now. He might have Brendan Fitzgerald in a little bit of trouble there. He's got him flat on the net. 4-1 lead, 135 remains in the second. Tudelo cruising here against the Ohio State freshman, Brendan Fitzgerald. The local. Grandview Heights kid just off the campus of Ohio State, which abuts up to Grandview Heights. And he didn't have to go far. Tudelo from Mentor Lake Catholic, two-time state champion for the Cougars. He's 8-0, a sophomore from Concord, Ohio. And now he's got that arm bar coming across the throat now, and he's just, if anything, taking some juice out of Fitzgerald, the freshman for Ohio State. This is your 2016 Thanksgiving throwdown. There is a star running on Fitzgerald. One point, two below. He's up 5-1 for 38 seconds remaining in the second period. 
slightly too low in the driver's seat right now on Ohio State freshman Brennan Fitzgerald. There you go. Elbow, elbow, elbow. And too low turns the wrist out of Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald's hips glued to the mat. 15 seconds left now in the second. And too low gonna go into the third, and it will be Fitzgerald's choice. And end of the second period. It's gonna be choice Fitzgerald. Two low up. Five one with 3:30 a ride time, which is locked up. Fitzgerald chooses neutral. Two low, low stance. Fitzgerald, as we saw, he's got big moves. He likes to hit him at least. Two to low. Effectively with a 6-1 lead here. So a takedown and a turn. And there is a single leg as I say that. And that's going to make it 7-1, two to low. So he's got to find one more takedown or one more point at least to pick up a major decision for the Golden Flashes. It's going to make it 7-2 on the board. And Fitzgerald's got big moves, we know. It's a scrappy, wily, junkyard dog. Stepping in with those hooks. Wading in with those hooks. Same, please. Tudelo just attacks the left leg, gives it up easy. Tudelo getting near fall swipes there. He could be looking for that down claw. Could be looking for a fall. He's going to get four near falls. He's going to blow this thing wide open to 13-2, effectively 14-2. With his ride time, Anthony Tudelo has the major, major decision sealed up here, barring a reversal to his back. And he looks under control against the Ohio State freshman. I really would like to see Tomasello out here right now. I think it'd be, it'd be a scrap, if anything. So, Tudelo. 18 seconds away from a major decision here, up 13-2. It's going to be 14-2 after they uh, blow the whistle here for end regulation with six seconds remains, third period. Tulu going to take a 14-2 major decision for Kent State. And picks up the riding time point. 